It's Wednesday morning. We're going to coffee. I gotta go pick up Garrett and welcome to my vlog. And welcome to my vlog. Okay, I'm gonna try this in the car mount again. I got manual focus turned on, and um, amongst other things. I'm gonna rush down, pick up Garrett, and I wanna film the trip down and see if the footage gets all deckered. So for the next part of the trip, I'm not gonna talk. You're gonna have music to listen to. <coughs> oh, and video to watch. All right, let's hammer down. Well, you see the lights behind me. I just got pulled over by the police because apparently my license plate light is out. I didn't even notice. It'd be awesome if cars came with warning lights to let you know when things break down like that. Freak sakes. Oh, what can you do, right? What can you do? I was gonna put my four-way flashers on, but he got his going like mock chicken speed back there, so uh, right on. So we're gonna have to see how to replace that bulb. I didn't even know it was out. God knows how long it's been out for. No idea, no idea. Now he's running all my stuff and probably gonna have to go to the cop shop and prove that I fixed it. And, oh, for freak's sakes. Just dickered. Just dickered. Alrighty, well, we're down here at the Hortons. Garrett looks like he's constipated. Rex is over here too. And we're drinking coffee. And cops suck. Hey, what's up? Not too much, you. So, so you guys wonder why I don't, I don't hang out with Adrian much anymore? Well, I do hang out with him sometimes, but not often, because he's always in this thing. <laughs> He drives this thing a lot. It's a taxi cab. Oh, it's can't, a. Can't really it it sends your buns. It's his Front mobile. Buns. Mo Front it's his <laughs> mobile office. So that that's why we don't hang out much. Just so you know. Alrighty, well I'm home now. It's pretty late, but I'm gonna show you guys this bullshit ticket I got for the license plate light that was out. That's ridiculous. Couldn't even give me just a warning and let me go. No, no. Has to give me a ticket. I have three days to fix it, bring it into the cop shop, and show them, and they'll void the ticket. But it's like, come on. That's more things I gotta do now. So, we'll say tomorrow we got ourselves an adventure. Right on. I'll show you the ticket when I go inside. It's dicked. So there's the ticket. From B. Whitehead. There's the date. There's the time. And there you go. I'm not sure what improper number means, but plate laid out. Not sure what that improper number is all about, but whatever. And it's part of the Highway Traffic Act. Right on. And there's the cost for the fine. $110. Right on. For a friggin' light that I had no idea was out. So basically right here it states that if I get this fixed and stuff and prove that it was fixed, that they'll waive this fine. And that's what I want them to do. Because I can use 110 bucks for something else. Like more cameras. Yeah. Here's the kicker. Rex told me tonight that that light's been out for a while. He tells me after I get the fine. Nice. Well, I better get my ass to bed because I gotta get up early tomorrow and do some running around. Obviously, gotta go to the cop shop. Um, I got a crappy tire. Gotta figure out how to change this light. I have no idea how to do that, so I'm gonna have to look that up on YouTube or just the internet in general. Figure that all out and go from there. So, it's sleepy time for this guy. Talk to you guys in the AM. And it is now the morning, and we are awake somewhat. Oh, we got things to do, so I can't be sleeping all day. Let's hammer down. Alrighty, so today we have a mission. We need to get that freaking rear brake light fixed. And by brake light, I mean license plate light. And then we need to uh, go to the cop shop and show them that it's fixed. And then get that ticket voided. Frig sakes. 
I looked how to do it online and uh, apparently it's tricky because if you do it wrong the entire license plate light housing can fall into the back of the bumper skin and that makes it a bitch to get out so well the awesome hair Adam awesome hair so we're gonna have some fun trying to get this thing to work right looks like it's a simple job you just pull the two bolts at the bottom and then you gotta like pull the housing down and hope to Christ the whole thing comes down with my luck I'm gonna pull it down and it's gonna come back up and go missing so we're gonna try this and see if we can get it, get it to work and here's hoping it works probably won't but we're gonna try but check this out guys the parcel slip from yesterday that I got and guess what we got another one today right on I only ordered one thing from Deal Extreme why am I getting two packages very good question we're gonna have to go to the post office twice once today once tomorrow I love that that's awesome <sighs> whatever so we'll get this all straightened out and we'll get everything set up let's friggin get this day started off to Canadian Tire uh oh something's wrong at YouTube again so there's my three latest vlogs as of what Sunday Monday Tuesday right and uh, here's the uh, stats for them so Sunday's got 787 but it's been like that for the past two days that one's still at 332 and it's been like that for the past two days well since yesterday and this one here is at 303 uh oh so I think something broke at YouTube guys we're not getting the right view counts anymore that sucks so oh well, what can you do just gotta let her go and hopefully they fix their shit and shit starts working again but once again we have a mission now I gotta get my ass in gear and get out there and get this mission going oh I'm such a procrastinator I gotta quit Alrighty, let's begin this mission. Let's begin the mission. Holy windy. Okay, so let me show you what we're up against here. Just so you get an idea as to how dickered this is. And how I'm not sure how I'm going to tackle it. But with you guys as a, as a monitor, I might be able to see the screws. Basically, I need to take that light out somehow. I'm not sure how. And this camera's having a problem focusing on the subject at hand. With that license plate light, it has to come out. And... I'm not exactly sure how that's going to happen. So, there's supposed to be some screws or something in there holding her in place. Holy, oh, you think you're a Sony? Come on, bud. But uh, there's supposed to be some screws or something in there holding it in place. So, we'll have to uh, go by the light, which is apparently a 190 or uh, 194. And then we'll come back and take it apart and see if we can do it. All right, let's hammer down. Alrighty, we made it. Step one of the mission Canadian Tire. Let's go get that stupid bulb. Then step two is trying to install the bulb. And the mission complete is going to the cops and saying, look, it's done. Frig off. So let's get this over with. Right on. Why, that's a good deal for that. I'm gonna get it. Phase two of my plan, or my mission I should say, is now complete. Plus we got some wicked little toolbox thing back there. I'll show you guys that when I get home. But uh, yeah pretty freaking hot over right now but here are the bulbs they are the 194 and they didn't have them in any other brand but Nighthawk which means I paid out the ass for something to illuminate my license plate in case my car gets stolen so the cops said because apparently headlights hitting it doesn't light it up enough go figure so yeah we'll go ahead and go home now and stuff these in the son of a bitch and I think it only takes one bulb so we'll have a spare for when that one burns out and the cop pulls me over again right on so uh, let's get this car fired up, some windows down, because it's currently 22 degrees out and it sucks. Wow, it's nice and cool in here. Well, I'm in the garage, as you can tell, and uh, I'm going to take a look at this friggin' Olympia toolkit. So maybe I'll get you guys up on the tripod and we'll do an unboxing video. <laughs> Alrighty, so you can sort of see it. So we'll go ahead and crack into this thing and see what the frig is in here. Well, we already know what's in here says so in the box but we'll check out the build quality of this thing and all that other stuff okay so basically that's what you get that's a cool looking toolbox I must say so myself I'm more interested in using the toolbox part for my truggy for hauling batteries and stuff but um, uh, are the scissors in here are they free roaming no, everything's zip tied together eh son of a bitch I'm gonna have to get cutters Gonna need some cutters. 
Put those there. But I have cutters over here somewhere. Hello, cutters. Where are you? I kind of need you now. There we are. Snippy, snippy. So there's a zip tie over here holding it in place. Not anymore. So you got a package of uh, friggin' different assorted screwdrivers. Can you guys even see that? Yup. Some Allen keys, right on. That'll be good for the trophy. You also get another package here. On the front, you have a hammer, a cutter, measuring tape, right? Some pliers. On the back, you got some six oars, blades for your cutter, a friggin' level, and some precision drivers, right on. This is gonna be awesome for the truggy. Well, I don't know what I'm gonna use a hammer for, I guess when I get in those tight spots. But, uh, yeah. That would be a spacer. More cardboard for recycling. And then, my friends, is pretty much all you get in this kit. Right on. I mean, it's a nice little toolbox, that's for sure, you know. Pretty simple, well built, strong, sturdy, got crap in it. You can put a bunch of junk in there. You know, it's got friggin' pouches on the front, pouches on the side, pouches on the back, friggin' saw hanging off of it. Oh, I need that. Oh yeah, right on, I need that. I don't have one of these types of saws. That looks like a good saw too. So, you get yourself a nice little wood cutting saw. <gasps> you know, just give her. Right on. So that's my new purchase. $144 on sale for $29. Mm -hmm. Pretty good deal to me. Alrighty, enough dicking around. Let's get out there and start hammering down on that license plate light. So, got my trusty Phillips head. I'm gonna go hammer down on this. All oh, the freaking bees are out. This is not gonna be easy. Apparently it gets a difficulty rating of 4 out of 10. Usually anything above 3 and I panic. So now I'm gonna really panic. Right on. First step, remove that screw and that screw. Holy shit, those screws are in there good. Okay, can't get them out with this stupid little screwdriver. Gonna have to get bigger force, I guess. For some reason, the one bolt's not coming out and there's a part inside moving, so I don't know if they have a nut on the, on the end or something, or, or if it broke. Piece of shit car, I tell you. So obviously something broke off inside the license plate light holder because it's just spinning. I'm about ready to smash it out with a hammer and just buy a whole new unit. Piece of fucking junk. Goddamn shitty GM products, I tell you. I swear they're made in China. American car companies, not happy with you. Should have, well, GM, I'm not happy with you. Should have just stayed with the Ford for fuck's sakes. I have no idea what I'm gonna do. I have no gloves to wear because I'm just chewing my finger up. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know. So I'm sitting there for like a half an hour just spinning screws wondering why the frig want to come out. Well, this screw is shot. The mount for it is shot. It's done. It's garbage. It's toast. It's no good. So, oh, and I accidentally broke this side. All because of this one here is also shot. Way to go, GM. Nice way to make your replaceable parts easily replaceable. Frig sakes. So, I don't know what I'm going to do now. I'm going to try and figure out something to rig up to make this thing work again. And go from there, I guess. Well, because I'm cheap, um, I basically did something rather unorthodox. I'm only going to mount it with the one side. Yeah, it's going to be wobbly as frig, but I don't give a frig. And uh, not sure if you can see that, but I tapped it. Because, once I get it out, I'm going to wedge this bolt in there to hold it in place. Frig it! Welcome to Rednecking 101 with the guy who doesn't know shit about cars. Right on! Well, that plan was foiled. Basically, the bolt won't go through the bumper. So, my new plan of attack is to put a bolt on one side and a nut on the other. So, that's what I'm doing now. I got this nut and a bolt to match it, just to hold it in place so the cops get off my dick. And then, uh, I can get this fixed up. I might have to go to the cop shop tomorrow and prove it fixed because I'm running out of time today. I gotta go to work still, for frig's sakes. Oh, it's just so dicked. Why couldn't they just said, get it fixed if we catch you again, we're giving you a fine. You know, give me a little bit of time, a little bit of leeway. No, they gotta be a hard as frig and just ruin my day. That's what they do, that's what cops do. They just ruin your day. People out there stabbing people, you know, getting into fights and all that, but no, they gotta pick on a guy where they burnt out frickin' license plate light. That really doesn't matter because when there's somebody following you, their lights light up your license plate for you. Yeah, so I'm a little bit peeved off right now, but whatever, we'll get this freaking thing fixed and then they can go suck my dick but um, yeah not happy not happy nope nope not happy but uh, we'll get her bullshit all right well it's sort of back in it's really cockeyed I'm gonna have to order a new one of those lights let's see if it fires well that's a good sign 
good. Let's go to the cop shop and show them I sort of fixed it. Okay, just had to let the dog out. Let's go to the cop shop and get this all straightened out. Actually, I'm gonna hit up the post office first and uh, get my package, then the cop shop, and then we'll see what time it is and probably come back home. Let's hammer down. <sighs> all right, I'm gonna try this thing aimed at me while driving. I'm gonna have to order a new light fixture because I completely destroyed that one. That is a given. At least there's light on my plate. So Officer Clock Knuckles can go frig himself. Come on, pick up, let's go. I got things. Dinks. So you're backing out of your driveway and they drop it down like, no, no, he doesn't have things. This guy looks like he's doing scrap metal runs. But uh, yeah, we'll go get the package, get that out of the way, and then uh, go to the cop shop. They're probably gonna wanna come out and see it. Probably gonna be like, oh, you can't keep it like that. Well, I know I can't keep it like that. It looks like shit. I'm gonna have to order a new light fixture because GM didn't think the bulb would ever burn out so they put it in with a stupid clip that breaks and that you can't take off ever again because you can't get needle nose in there to grip it. Can't do anything, so it's one of those, you're dicked if you do and you're dicked if you don't. Just really, really makes me mad that simple engineering. Your rear end picks up snow and salt. It's gonna throw it into the bumper skin. Therefore, things behind the bumper skin are gonna get wet. Metal likes to rust. Logic dictates you don't use metal there. There's no reason why they couldn't have self-tapped some plastic or even made the lens housing itself removable like on the Trans Am. What you're hearing right now is a big dirty beside me just giving her. Oh, that guy's scrapping. He had like two garbage bags full of pop cans. He's scrapping. Funny thing is that guy will go through people's blue boxes and steal pop cans. And it's funny because the city will actually take those pop cans and scrap them themselves at the salvage yard to make money. I uh, probably could have went like 18 times. Yeah, I don't see my engineering method holding on for really long. It's like a temporary band-aid fix for now, just to get the fuzz off my ass. I love that. Let's pick on the guy who has no criminal record, just because I gotta meet my quota for canning out citations for the night. I swear, cops have to have quotas. If anybody out there is a police officer, where the fuck are you going? Holy shit, you're a goof. I drive an Escalade so I can drive like an idiot, Twainus. Obviously his rims are larger than his IQ there, bud. Oh, and you got a flat tire, like that. Wreck those rims, bud, wreck those rims. That's what you get for being an idiot. Today's ruined day was brought to you by the cops. Ruining the program every step of the, every step of the way. Holy crap, I don't think there's anywhere to park back here. Freaking shopping carts. <sighs> okay, well I'm at the mall, so let's go get this parcel. And, um, frig yeah. Well, I got my package, but it's not a Deal Extreme package. That's for sure. Deal Extremes are usually sent by DMS or EMS or whatever. I don't know what the hell this is. I guess I'll have to wait and find out. And it's off to the cop shop we go. Current time, 2.51 or 2.52 or some shit. So we'll go over there and let them ruin my day even more. Let's do this. Alrighty, now we're at the cop shop and we already got everything's done, straightened out and everything. Tickets taken care of, we're good, we're back to clear. Well, it's currently three o'clock, I'm gonna head her home, crack into this package and then we'll head her off to work because uh, I wanna pack a lunch. Let's go. I clearly got things and look, it doesn't just happen to pug. This person is just freaking trolling. Oh my God, like, yeah, get, get out of my way, that'd be awesome. I know you're only driving a Versa, but seriously, move. All right, let's see what's in this friggin' package. What the hell? Another set of son of a bitch glasses. Huh. Let's see if that's actually what they are. I don't recall ordering these. So, inside here, we got a nice little case, a USB cable, and a power adapter. Unzipping the case reveals a set of son of a bitch glasses. They're not sunglasses, though. Here, let's try them on. Are they me? Do I look more intellectual? Yeah. Decker day. Eh? Hmm. I'm gonna have to put a charge on these and see how they work tonight, I guess. Right on. Didn't even order these. No idea why I got them. Don't know where they came from. There's like no information in the bag. There's instructions in the box. They're written in Chinese. So this should be fun. Chinese instructions. Awesome. Well, I'll put a charge on these and we'll play with them tonight at work, I guess, on my break. Whatever. Want to see some awesome English? Try and read that without going retarded. Seriously, I dare you. Try. I'm sorry if you're retarded now. Really, I truly am. I'm sorry.
Well, I need to get a lunch together and get my ass into work. So, um, I guess I'll pack up all this shit and take it with me and maybe tonight on my break we'll try to record if it's not raining out. I got itchy ear. So I kind of decided against buying a uh, packing a lunch. I was going to go buy a sub from the subway. I think today's is chicken teriyaki, so I'm going to go get that and then uh, head her off to work because, uh, yeah, just don't feel like it. And we have made it to work on time with time to spare. Right on. I'm going to head her inside and get on with the night and probably get yelled at by my boss some more and uh, go from there because today's just a dicker day, so frig it. Have at her. <coughs> really? Really? Are you done? Alrighty guys, well, I'm currently recording with the new son of a bitch glasses. And, uh, do I look smarter? Really? Do I look smarter? That's what one of the girls said when I showed them. Because I showed her the old sunglasses and she was like, Oh, I like those, but I wish they came with a clear lens. And then I brought these out and showed her these. And she's like, oh, Can I have them? Can I have them? I'm like, No, you can't freaking have them. <laughs> Holy crap. Don't let the vultures get you. So, yeah, you know, so far tonight has been very busy. Call after call. So, not a big deal. That's what we're here for. I'm tireder than old Frigg, because as you could tell, I went to bed at around 4.35, and I was actually awake today at 10.30, but laid in bed till about 11, and then uh, here I am. Oh, it's been a been a brutal day. I can't wait for it to be over, but uh, yeah, what can you do? Don't these glasses make me look like a hipster, or like a super like 1980s nerd? Aren't they awesome? and stuff. The sunglasses suit me better, but uh, whatever. Free is free, because I super don't recall buying these. And they're not a DX send, so don't know where they came from. Package had a return address, but it was written in Chinese, so some company wanted me to review something, I think, and forgot to tell me they were going to send me something. I checked the Skaven channel, I checked the Northern Tech, checked Arcane Fire and Ice. Hell, I even checked Mr. Airsoft Ponage. And there's no emails from any company saying that they're sending me stuff. Also, about this JVC camera, probably not going to keep it. I think I might send her back. I'm going to use it for the next little while there and just get as many videos out of it as possible for the tech channel. Cover all the aspects. Just so that uh, people have questions about it. Because there's not many North American reviews on this camera. So I might as well cover as much as possible on it. Just so people are aware of what it is. And then... The last video I put out will be my final thoughts, and then people can uh, be the judge of it from there. So far, the things I like about it are A, the 33mm wide-angle lens, the fact that it is super small, the, you know, the, the it's got okay low light mode, but I find it gets a little grainy. It does. And um, the kit was kind of cool to have a spare battery and all that, but honestly, it's not enough to make me want to keep it. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to pack her up and send her back once I get all my videos done. I want to do some camera battles with it. I'm going to put it up against some of the pocket. I'm going to put it up against every camcorder I have, to be honest with you. Even the ZX-5. And uh, even the friggin' white flip. It's going to go up against the white flip. Just to show the difference. Yeah, i got a couple more videos to make on this thing before I ship her back. So that's what I'm going to do. But uh, I'm going to head her back inside now and carry on with the night. And I'll talk to you guys on my lunch break. So until then, have a good one. Peace out and stuff. Yeah. Alrighty, well, the wind is really picking up out here, so I don't know how the audio is, but uh, that's been a brutal day. I'm just starting my lunch now because I just got off the call from hell. So <sighs> probably going to get in shit for this one tomorrow too, and there's nothing I can do to prevent it. So whatever. It's the way she goes. But, yeah guys, I think I'm probably going to shut the vlog down here. So what do you think of the new son of a bitch glasses? You like them? You hate them? Are they stupid? Are they awesome? Do I look like an idiot with them? I think I look like an idiot with them, but... I'm going to shut this down here. I'm freaking tired. I just want to edit this and upload it and carry on with my night and go home and pass right out and not even friggin' care about anything because today just sucked. So, that's my plan. That's what I'm going to do. So if you like today's video, you know what to do. Go ahead and hit the like button. Let lets me know you like the video and I like that. 
And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, you know where to leave them. Comment section below. And you know me, I always respond to comments. So uh, until next time, guys, keep on vlogging.